Perhaps there's a huge system of mirrors in place, between the sky and ocean, reflecting the blue from the sky, into the ocean. This would also explain why the ocean isn't blue on cloudy days. Well, that's actually not the case. You read the title correct. The ocean is not blue because of the sky. After all, even if it was blue because of the sky, we still need to know why the sky itself appears blue. So, here we go. The blue color of the ocean is primarily due to a phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering. When sunlight enters the Earth's atmosphere, it encounters gas molecules and other small particles, such as dust and water vapor. These particles scatter the sunlight in all directions, with shorter wavelengths, such as blue and violet, scattering more easily than longer wavelengths, such as red and orange. As a result, the blue and violet wavelengths are scattered throughout the atmosphere, giving the sky a blue appearance when viewed from the surface of the Earth. But we'll get back to the sky later. When sunlight reaches the ocean surface, some of the blue light is absorbed by the water, while some of it is scattered by the water molecules, causing the ocean to appear blue. So, while the reflection of the blue sky can contribute to the overall blueness of the ocean, it is not the primary reason for its blue color. Let's explain all that in a much simpler way. Imagine you're at a party with a lot of people. Some of the people in the room are wearing bright, colorful shirts, while others are wearing darker, muted colors. If you were to shine a bright flashlight in the room, the light would bounce off of all the people and objects in the room, but the brighter colors would reflect the light more strongly than the darker colors. Similarly, when sunlight enters the Earth's atmosphere, it encounters gas molecules and other particles, which act like the people at the party. The shorter wavelengths of light, like blue and violet, are like the bright, colorful shirts, and they are reflected more strongly by the particles in the atmosphere than longer wavelengths of light, like red and orange. This causes the blue and violet wavelengths to scatter throughout the atmosphere, making the sky appear blue. This is known as Rayleigh scattering. Now, if you remember the beginning of this video, you may be asking, but how does the ocean still appear blue even from outer space? Well, even when viewed from afar, the ocean still appears blue because the water molecules scatter the blue light from the sun in all directions, including towards space. This means that when light from the sun hits the ocean, the blue wavelengths are scattered back towards the observer, giving the ocean its blue appearance. This scattering effect occurs regardless of the distance between the observer and the ocean. Even when viewed from the moon or from space, the blue color of the ocean is still visible because the light is still being scattered in the same way. However, it's worth noting that the color of the ocean can vary depending on a number of factors, including the amount of sunlight, the angle of the sun, the presence of algae and other organisms, and the depth and clarity of the water. However, in general, the ocean appears blue when viewed from afar because of the scattering of blue light by water molecules. Now, this same phenomenon is responsible for the blue color of the sky. As sunlight passes through the atmosphere, it gets scattered in all directions, with the blue and violet wavelengths being scattered more than the other colors, giving the sky its characteristic blue hue. Now, on cloudy or rainy days, the clouds block much of the sunlight from reaching the surface of the Earth, so there is less light available to scatter in the first place. This means there will also be lesser light reaching the ocean surface, which will affect its color. So, while Rayleigh scattering is still occurring on cloudy or rainy days, the water droplets in the clouds scatter light differently than the gas molecules in the atmosphere, causing the sky to appear gray or white instead of blue. But what about the galaxy? Why isn't the galaxy itself the same shade of blue as the color of our Earth's sky? Why does it instead appear to be somewhat black? Well, the galaxy is not actually black, but it appears dark because it contains a large amount of dust and gas that blocks or absorbs light from the stars behind it. This dust and gas are concentrated in areas known as dark nebulae, which appear black because they block the light from stars in the background. So, while the ocean and the sky on Earth appear blue due to the scattering of light by water molecules and gas molecules respectively, the galaxy appears dark due to the blocking or absorption of light by dust and gas. Did you enjoy that? Why not drop a like and subscribe for more? See you next time.